There are no easy games in the Big Ten. For anybody who thinks so, they are sadly mistaken. I will debate you on that point all day long if that's what you want. Paraphrasing Wisconsin head coach Gary Anderson just a few minutes ago at the podium at Big Ten Media Days in Chicago. Mark Rogers TV watching the festivities from Chicago, and we've already broken down the Wisconsin schedule, but we would like to readdress it based on the coach's comments because Gary Anderson has to defend his team's schedule. He was asked point blank, and it was termed as a lucky break to catch this schedule as an easy schedule. Gary Anderson, again, has to defend Wisconsin's schedule, but the Big Ten blew it here. They need to figure out a rotation that works in which the expected heavyweights of the conference in each division play at least one game against each other. So for Wisconsin, the early favorite in the Western Division, they don't play Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, and Penn State. The four best teams clearly in the other division and especially Michigan State and Ohio State, the two best expected teams in 2014. Again, the contenders have to play. It hurts Wisconsin in a couple ways. Number one, if they beat LSU on opening night, if they're able to get that W against the SEC, and especially if LSU marches on and has an expected good season, solid season, top 15 in the country season in the SEC, then that could propel Wisconsin into top 10 national rankings and depending on how they play in the Big Ten and based on this schedule they're going to be a favorite in probably every game in the Big Ten. They've got three lightweights, uh, Bowling Green aside possibly in non-conference play but Wisconsin if they beat LSU should go 4-0 in non-conference play then they'll be a heavy favorite on through the rest of the Big Ten especially since they play in the weaker division. They've got Iowa and Nebraska at the end And again, no Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, and Penn State. So that brings us to a situation where the Big Ten is not validating its winner or its two teams that are going to play in the conference championship game when they don't play the better teams. And I know it's an eight-game schedule in a 14-team conference. So you miss five teams. So the schedule cannot be perfect. That's one of the issues with expansion. I have a big issue with expansion, specifically with the SEC, the ACC, and the Big Ten. Since they don't play enough games against each other, there are huge matchups that are left on the sideline unplayed. The way it is, the Big Ten needs to put in place a better rotation. You can't completely predict who's going to be good, but I think it's safe to say that Ohio State and Michigan State are going to be pretty good most years. Michigan's typically going to be good, Wisconsin, and on down the line. That can be predicted, and there can be a rotation put in place where there's an expected tough game, maybe Ohio State and Rutgers. Not Rutgers and Maryland. They're beating up those two with Wisconsin, but Wisconsin needs to play one of the heavyweights in the other division, if not two heavyweights in the other division. I think you follow me here. It validates the Big Ten or any conference champion or division champion that represents that side in the conference championship game. Also, it's going to hurt Wisconsin. Let's say the Badgers knock off LSU, and LSU goes on and has an LSU-type season in the SEC. The Tigers are not supposed to be elite, not a vintage LSU team this year, but they should rank in the top 15 in the country. Let's say they go 6-2 and two in the SEC. They finish 9-3 and three with the loss to Wisconsin. Badgers win it big um, in whatever fashion. They win over LSU in Houston on opening night. If they run rough, rough shot through the Big Ten, as they're expected to do, they will be a favorite in every game unless they collapse. They're going to go 4-0 non-conference if they beat LSU. Well, their strength of schedule in the Big Ten is going to hurt them toward trying to make it into that Melvin Gordon somewhat predicted national playoff. That's going to hurt Wisconsin. That's going to hurt Ohio State not playing Wisconsin, Iowa, and Nebraska in the other division. If the Buckeyes, let's say, lose a game but win the division, win the Big Ten championship game, and are 11-1. and And even if they're 12-0, and depending on what happens elsewhere, the strength of schedule is going to come into play because of the perception of the Big Ten and having defeated, in Wisconsin's case, an LSU, putting themselves in a position to challenge for a playoff spot. The strength of schedule, or lack thereof in the Big Ten, is going to hurt 
Wisconsin and going to hurt the Big Ten that needs a representative in the four-team playoff. So if you follow me there, it hurts the validation of the conference championship, and it also hurts a team that goes on a run through the conference if they win the big game non-conference or, in Ohio State's case in recent years, not playing uh, a solid non-conference opponent and then running roughshod through the conference and then having to to constantly defend strength of schedule because last year they didn't play some of the tougher teams in the other division. Ohio State didn't in Michigan State in particular. All right, again, Wisconsin. Don't play the big four in the other division, Ohio State, Michigan State, Michigan, and also Penn State. It also hurts the Big Ten in regards to gaining that national exposure and the spotlight on particular weeks when it could be an Ohio State-Wisconsin game or Wisconsin-Michigan or Wisconsin-Michigan State. Instead, it's Wisconsin-Maryland or Wisconsin-Rutgers, and the national media is not talking up those games. All right, Wisconsin fans, Big Ten fans in particular, because this speaks to the Big Ten trying to turn around the perception that's haunted this conference since about 2006, 07, when the Buckeyes dropped those two consecutive BCS National Championship games. That's where it really started. Uh, so, Big Ten fans, this involves you as well. Let's talk about it right here on Mark Rogers TV.